Hi and welcome to ProMet video tutorials. In this video we're going to go over how to make a simple mailing to send out to your contacts and or groups. So to get to the mailing go to mailings and new mailing and then you'll be brought here. So it's a pretty simple five-step process. It even gives the steps at the top. For the first step, step one, um, name your mailing. We're just going to name it test mailing or test mailer. And then you can include which groups you're going to send them out to. So we'll do the test group, test import group. And then click next. And step two is track and respond. So it will ask you if you want to track click throughs, which is um, it tracks the number of times when a click. Um, when someone clicks on a link in your mailing and track opens um, tracks how many times your mailing mailer has been opened and you can also track replies if someone replies to the email but we're just gonna leave that blank we're just gonna leave it unchecked and this mailing visibility that's fine user and user admin only so that's good click next and then step three we have the mailing content where you start to fill out what you want to put in the mailing. So mailing subject, call it the same thing, test mailer. This is what's going to be seen when you send it to people. The other one that we created from step one, that's just what you want to call the mailing. But when this is what the subject will be filled in the uh, subject line of the mailing when you send it to people. and. You can use a template if you want to, if you have already created a template, um, that would be easier. So then you can just fill out maybe one or two things and it'll be done. But we're starting from scratch, so we're not going to use a template. And if you scroll down, you can see the Compose on screen HTML format. This is the body of the mailer, so you can start filling out what you want. It's You can see it's similar to the WYSIWYG toolbar. So mostly anything you can do from the WYSIWYG you can do in here as well and so let's get started dear and you can we're gonna place a token right here a uh, token is um, kind of like a filler if you have if you sense we're sending it to a group of people and you want to uh, address them by their first name but you don't want to go through you know one by one dear John dear Jane and whatnot you can insert a token we're gonna do that and put in their first name as the uh, filler. Let's find that. First name, done. So you can see dear contacts first name so that whoever they're sending it to will fill in their first name. And this mailer will probably tell them about this event coming up. Okay, so I just typed this up really quick. Right here we have click here for the event information so we're gonna make that a link just like you would in WYSIWYG just click on the uh, link icon and then you can put in the URL so I'm just gonna copy this URL in copy paste and then click OK and I also have a question um, email so we're gonna make that an email click link email, email address, questions at example.com. So, so now when they click that, it'll open up their um, email service, whatever they're using, and uh, you can send them an email. And of course, you can also add images and change the size, the font, um, bold italics and all that, all that stuff just like a WYSIWYG toolbar would. So once you've create have your body of the email scroll down a bit more so you can create a new template out of this if you want to if you uh, don't want to keep making the same thing over and over again and say if you have the same type of uh, mailing that you want to send out for events you can you know save it as a new template and call it I don't know event template email um, so that you can do that and then the header and the footer, we're just going to leave that here, which is good because um, what the footer uh, lets people unsubscribe from your mailing list if they want to. So we want to have leave that option there for them. And then click Next. And then step four, you can send out a test mailing to yourself 
or to the group before you send it out to everybody. So we're gonna send this to myself and send a test mailing. Or you could preview it right here as well. Just click the tab and you can get an idea of it. Otherwise, if you want to, if you have like images and stuff, it'd be better better to uh, send the test mailing to see how it actually looks in when people are viewing it. So send a test mailing and the test message has been sent. So I'm gonna check my inbox right here. See, test mailer. If you have any images, display images below. But otherwise, here we go. See if see how we had the um, the token there was said contact first name. It fills in my first name for me, and then people can also click on the link. Um, there you go. I clicked on that link. It'll bring me to the event and email. Thank you. This is the footer sample footer. This is where they have the option to unsubscribe. And here's the header as well. You could put an image if you want. You can just go to settings and find where you need to change that. But after you've maybe sent a test mailing and you think it looks good, ready to be sent out to everybody else, you can go next. And here for step five, you can schedule or send it. You can send it immediate, right, immediately right now, or you can schedule the mailing to another time. Maybe you want to save this to send it for later, or you can send it immediately. We can submit and then just click submit when you're done. For send immediately, I believe it depends on what your settings are for um, every time the cron, I believe, checks it. Because it could be every 30 minutes that it checks it to send it. So it may not be right at the second immediately, but it might be in like 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And that's how you create a simple mailing. Uh, thank you for watching and bye.